This is the fifth video in a series about candlestick charts and patterns. In this video, we're going to cover hammer candles and hanging man candles, along with morning star patterns and evening star patterns. The hammer candle has a very small upper body at the top with a shadow on the bottom. The shadow is at least twice as long as the small body. The hammer candle is found at the bottom of a downtrend. The color of the body is not important, however a bullish blue body is slightly more bullish than a bearish red body. There should be no upper shadow or a very small upper shadow and the longer the lower shadow the more powerful the reversal signal. The candle following the hammer candle needs to confirm the hammer signal with a strong bullish move. The hanging man looks the same as the hammer except it's located at the top of an uptrend while the hammer is found at the bottom of a downtrend. The hanging man has a small body at the top with a shadow on the bottom. The shadow is at least twice as long as the small body. The color of the body is not important, however a red bearish body is slightly more bearish than a bullish blue body. There should be no upper shadow or a very small upper shadow and the longer the lower shadow the more powerful the reversal signal. The candle following the hanging man needs to confirm the hanging man signal with a strong bearish move. Before explaining the morning star pattern you must first learn what an indecision candle is as it helps form the morning star pattern. An indecision candle is a candle that is neither bullish nor bearish. It shows that the market has not decided which way to go, up or down. Indecision candles have small bodies or no bodies, which means the opening price and closing price are the same or very near the same. Indecision candles are often doji candles. The morning star pattern is usually consisting of three candles at the bottom of a downtrend. The first candle is a red bearish candle, the second candle is an indecision candle, and the third candle is a bullish blue candle that closes at least halfway up the first red candle. The longer the red and blue candles, the more forceful the reversal. The more indecision of the indecision candle, the better probability that a reversal will occur. The further the third blue candle closes into the first red candle, the stronger the reversal. It's even stronger when the blue candle closes higher than the first red candle. There are countless variations to the morning star pattern. Instead of just one indecision candle, there can be one, two, three, or even four indecision candles. The indecision candle can be bullish or bearish. It can be a gravestone doji or a hammer. There are many variations to the morning star pattern, but they all have the same thing in common. A bearish first candle, followed by one to four indecision candles, followed by a bullish blue candle. The evening star pattern is the opposite of the morning star pattern. It usually consists of three candles at the top of an uptrend. The first candle is a blue bullish candle, the second candle is an indecision candle, and the third candle is a bearish red candle that closes at least halfway down the first blue candle. The longer the blue and red candles, the more forceful the reversal. The more indecision of the indecision candle, the better probability that a reversal will occur. The further down the red candle closes into the blue candle, the stronger the reversal. It's even stronger when the red candle closes lower than the first blue candle. There are many variations to the evening star pattern. Instead of just one indecision candle, there can be one, two, three, or even four indecision candles. The indecision candle can be bullish or bearish it can be a shooting star or a hanging man. There are many variations of the evening star pattern, but they all have the same thing in common. A bullish blue candle, followed by an indecision candle, followed by a bearish red candle. 
In our next video, we're going to cover some more important candle formations and patterns along with some additional candlestick rules that you need to be aware of if you want to be a successful trader.